This is my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. This video is part two of the third phase of the lithium battery installation project here. Um, in phase one, I put in a new converter in the trailer so it knows how to charge the, uh, the lithium battery. In phase two, I put in uh, heavier cables back from our alternator back here to my my truck uh, connector where the, the trailer hooks up to. And in stage three, I put in um, this Victron DC to DC charge controller. Um, I Right now, this has been a total success. My truck is idling gently. Um, and if we look at, I'm gonna go inside the trailer because this is too bright out here for you to see this, but Here we are inside and you can see and I hope you can see that this is the Bluetooth output of the um, DC to DC charger and the two things of interest here are this is the the input voltage this is the voltage that's coming from the truck right now um, so what's at the back of my truck is 13.9 volts. What's on the output of the DC to DC controller is 14.2 volts. So you can see that this controller is stepping up that voltage. It's going from 13.9 volts to 14.2 and running my battery in absorption mode. Way cool. So let's test here a little bit. So let's push it a little harder here. Um, my battery is mostly charged, so it's not drawing a whole lot of current, but we know that this three-way fridge, if I flip that to battery, it'll draw a lot of current. So right now, the voltage at the back of the truck is 13.9 volts, boosted to 14.2 to charge the battery. So it goes from 13.9. Let's turn this. Now, that um, that fridge is now running from the battery and let's see what kind of current so we went from 13.9 volts to 13.5 you can see that since the truck alternator is being asked to do more it's dropped some voltage but look at that the output of that converter is still at 14.2 and still doing an absorption charge so that I can both charge my battery and run this fridge simultaneously without any problem. So let's take a look at my other app. I have a smart shunt out there. Um, that's basically a battery monitor. And it's gonna connect here. And look at that. It's the, the smart shunt itself says that the battery voltage is 14.12 volts the current is 0.22 amps. The power is 3 watts. So my truck, with that converter on it, is able to charge the battery at, at 3 watts, because that's all it needs, and run the fridge simultaneously. So we are 100%. We're 100% here. Everything is working just exactly perfectly. My next step is to take that lead-acid battery and swap it with a lithium battery. That's my last step. Right now, 
this converter has been programmed that it knows about a lead bas lead battery. This uh, Victron shunt has been programmed that it knows about a lead battery. All I have to do at this point is take that battery out, put in a lithium battery, reprogram this guy so it knows it's running lithium, reprogram this guy's running lithium, and my project is done. Really straightforward. I love how this turned out. We have the two connections here. This is, I don't have it hitched, but it's close enough to plug in. This is my seven pin connector as usual. And right next to it is my heavy current um, lines that go up front. Couldn't be easier than that. Just pull that, pull that, and we're good to go. So that's the only, the only real change that's gone on here. Um, as far as towing and stuff, that's great. I love the fact that I don't have to worry about anything. I can do whatever I want in the back of that truck or in the back of that trailer. I can run a, a refrigerator. I can charge my battery. I can do whatever I want back there and I will get more than enough current to do all of that at once. Don't have to worry about batteries, anything. And the nice thing here is, another nice thing here is, is if I do run my battery down, I can just back my truck up connected here and this guy will run will change from absorption mode to bulk mode and it will recharge the battery so this becomes my alternator or um, a generator for, for say if I'm out boondocking and I need more power back the truck up let it idle for a couple hours um, you throttle it up a little bit you know keep it from overheating keep it keep an eye you know an eye uh, at least an eye on it you don't want to you want to um, you know, muck it up by letting it idle for 20 hours or so. But this would definitely charge the battery up. Um, uh, do the math on it, it's uh, almost 270 watts. You know, um, that's almost three solar panels. <laughs> this is about equivalent of three solar panels. Really nice. So stay tuned for the next one. Um, the last one in the series where we actually uh, install the lithium battery there and reprogram. But yeah, thanks for sticking, sticking with me, and we'll see you in Phase 4. Bye-bye. Drive safe.